Welcome back guys. Today I'm gonna work on a new sensor that is PME25. Now to have a greater impact and a greater look over this sensor let's have a watch over the website that is called controlleverything.com and here we have to search for this particular sensor that you can see on my screen. Now let's see what we got for this sensor and let's say that we have BMA250 which is a accelerator it's a digital tri axle plus minus 2g to plus minus 16g acceleration sensor and as you can say with intelligent on chip motion triggered interrupt controller so as you can see uh, more features are lined up on this website as you can see also you can purchase the sensor from this very site now for today's video tutorial i'm gonna work on the sensor bma250 which is the accelerometer and I'm gonna interface with a particle photon and for that I require a particle code. So go to resource tab and here comes the particle code sample. Now you can download the particle code sample as zip file from this very site. Yeah, right from there. Also you have the privilege to download the code from github.com and the repository that is control everything commonly. Now what we require is to make some hardware connections for the setup. Let's have it. This here, which you are able to see on my screen, is our sensor that is BMA250 accelerometer. Now, this here is also a particle photon, and this is a I2C sheet. Now, this is available on the website controleverything.com. Now, why we are using this shield is to make connections with other I2C devices a lot easier. So that's why gently place the particle photon over the I2C shield and make this connection. Now, this here is a connecting cable. This is used to make a connection among the sensor and the I2C sheet and a rule has to be followed while making this connection that while making a connection among the ground terminal of the sensor and for to the ground terminal of the cable similarly for the I2C shield also the ground terminal rule. Now to power up the particle photon we need a micro USB cable just like this and gently insert it over the power jack and light it out. Hence, we are done with the connections part. Now what we require to have a look over the particle code so that we can interface the sensor with that along with the connections of the hardware we have just made. Let's have a look over that also. Now what I am gonna do is to have a look over the particle code so that we can interface the code along with the sensor and the hardware connections we have just made. So let's go to github.com, log in there and here search for the repository that is control everything community which you are able to see on my screen now log in here and here search for the sensor bma250 and here we go with our acceleration sensor now here is a particle code we will like to explore but before that let's have a look over the instructions we need to follow to pursue this code uh, first of all we have to log into our particle photon and set up the device according to this link as you can see this is the link Let's have a link view so that we can go through it carefully. Uh, this is the, all the steps for connection to your device using USB operating system, installing Node.js, everything is there as you can see. So what do we is to follow these instructions carefully. Now next uh, we have to download and get pull the code it's optional and we have to go to the online id and copy of a code there the online id is this link build.particle.io as you can see what do we require is to entire paste this code here save and name it and here you can save the code there now next and the last part is to verify the code and flash on the photon and the output will be displayed on this dashboard link let's have a look over this dashboard link as you can see everything is there yeah you got it now what do we require is to look over the code now it's a particle code as you can see it's dot inx uh, file now the first thing you notice in the code that we have included application dot h and spark wiring i to c dot h has files and we have defined the address of the sensor that is ux18 uh, this is initialization of some of the variables and we have set some variables also here now we have initialized here as you can see we have initialized i2c communication as master along with the serial communication and the baud rate equal to 9600 now we have sent some commands which 
called writing part now we have selected con range register that is 0x 0f and we have set the range that is plus minus 2g and command for that is 0x 03 we have written here now second command is to select the bandwidth register that is 0x10 and we have set the bandwidth 7.81 hertz and which goes for 0x08 now as we are done with sending the commands now we want to read the data after the processing of these commands by the sensor that's why we have used this delay to catch up the commands now we are having the data selection from the register 0x02 and we are requesting and reading six bytes of data as you can see on my screen these are the acceleration data for x, y, and z axis. Now after that we have the conversion part of the data which we have just seen in the data sheet for BMA250. At the very end of our code or we want to display the results on the screen which is called the dashboard for particle photon and it's in the form of acceleration in x, y, and z axis. So this is the code we need to follow and let's have a look over the working for along with this code. Now for the interesting part that is to show the practicality we have to copy this entire code open up the terminal for the build link as you can see and we have discussed it earlier and here we have to create a new file as you can see on my screen bma250 for the reference name and here paste the entire code and now save the code and after that we have to verify and compile the code as you can see on my screen uh, the code is being compiled it's verified now flash it now while flashing the code we have to check for the magenta flash which confirms that code is good to go and we have the magenta flash and the successful flash notification is at the down of this screen as here now what do we require is to open up the dashboard link so that we can have the output to be displayed on the screen and here we go as you can see on my screen we have the acceleration data it's almost stable for the three axis which are the perpendicular axis x, y, z because the sensor is stable. Now when I try to rotate or move the sensor, the changes will be reflected on the screen for the acceleration in x, y and z axis as you can notice on my screen. Now this is how the particle code works along this sensor. Now what we require is to see the applications and the benefits for this sensor BMA250. The BMA250 is a tri-axial low G acceleration sensor with digital output for consumer market applications. It allows measurement of acceleration in three perpendicular axes. An evaluation circuitry ASIC converts the output of a micromechanical acceleration sensing structure MEMS that works according to differential capacitance per principle. Now the BMA250 senses tilt, motion and shock vibration. So the typical examples are display profile switching, menu scrolling tap, double tap sensing, gaming pedometer, free fall detection, e-compass, tilt compensation and a lot more. Now this sensor is available on the website controleverything.com and the relevant code is available on the resource tab and you can download it from there. Now you can also have the code from github repository and the repository is control everything community now if you have any doubt in the end any queries you can contact on the control everything.com and you can post your comments on the community page of this website now for relevant blogs and articles which are according to this sensor you can got your comments on instructables.com and if you want to subscribe more video tutorials like this you can go to your youtube channel so in the very end i hope you enjoyed this video and yourself have a good one and thanks a lot for the watching